Hey guys, Jacob with Jacob Comics. Happy new comic book day, August 21st, 2024. I hope all you guys found all your books in your cubby on the new comic book shop wall. However you guys get your books, I hope you guys found all the books you were looking for this week. Um, I know I did here in the Loud Mysterious Black Bag. As usual, uh, if you guys want to check out the Instagram link, uh, hit up my shows where I where I sell comics. I have a mystery box, 9-8 CGC mystery box, bunch of fun stuff, fun times. Click the link below and follow me on Instagram. All right, guys, let's get dived into the Loud Mysterious Black Bag. I have two books this week to share with you and a couple that I got from the back bins. Um, I really actually enjoyed the reads, though, this week. As usual, I have read the books um, and listed them in, in an order of uh, least favorite to favorite. Though there is only two books this week, um, we're still going to go with the normal flow. So here up in our number two spot, we have Deadpool number five. And I'm continuing to really enjoy this run. Um, honestly, I would say that we got the first appearance of Deadpool's daughter, um, like, as daughter pool or whatever you want to call her. Though, she doesn't have any name except for her actual name, right? Oh, which I think it's Cassie. But um, she does appear as as you know, daughter pool, whatever you want to call her in this book. And I, I'm having, I'm having a lot of fun with the run. Like the bad guy they set up, uh, has, has, uh, you know, left some, some, uh, lasting consequences for our hero, Wade Wilson. And we're just, you know, we're just along for this ride at this point. I feel like I, I, I can't ask much more for, from this run. And if, Honestly, with the Deadpool movie out doing so good, if that doesn't stir up uh, stir up enough hype to kind of keep this run going into the 20s, I just don't know what will for Deadpool. I really don't. Just because it, I feel like this run's really good, man. And, and uh, you know, e even if you're like, you're, you know, you're not reading it and you're hearing, oh, there's this daughter uh, and all this, and that seems like a gimmick. I want to say, yeah, sure, that's fine. It is kind of a gimmick, I guess, but you got to sell books, right? But at the heart of the book is really good writing. Like, and the, the art has been top-notch. Like, I got to shout out DeVito in this issue. I, lo I loved this issue's art. Like, it, it's really dynamic. It feels uh, real. It's kind of got, like, a realism to it, but, but with enough of a comic book, you know, dynamic poses and things, and, and, uh, obviously, you know, it's Deadpool, and so his limbs sometimes get ripped off, and he's really good at that, too. It, it's just a, it's just a top to bottom really good read and run right now. Um, in my number, so moving on to number one, in my number one spot, um, like I said, I really enjoyed both books I got this week. And if you're wondering why the the uh, episode's late this week, it was actually waiting for my issue of Nightwing 117 to arrive. They were a little late to my shop this week, so I didn't actually pick it up until Friday and wasn't able to read it until Friday evening after work. Um, so hopefully that, you know, that's not... Usually we'll get these uploaded on Wednesday, so sorry about the late one here this week. But still, it, it, it was wor well worth the wait. I kind of questioned the last uh, time that I that I had Nightwing, um, you know, on the on the docket, or, or was you know last week it, time it came out. I even kind of questioned it in the during the episode and in the title of that episode. Is this Tom Taylor's masterpiece? And I was sort of hoping to. Uh, to bring out some comment, I did get a couple of comments, but you know, I was really ho hoping to start a, a a a bunch of people chiming in about about what they think about this because I I'm super curious how you guys are receiving this. This being part four of five, leaving us with only one more Tom Taylor issue, from my understanding, unless there's going to be like one final issue after this final story arc 
I don't exactly know the clarification of that or if it's ending in one more. But this being his final story arc, I gotta hand it to him. This has been like set up from the beginning and the payoff was worth it for me. And you know, you know, your miles may vary, right? But for me, the payoff was really worth it. I super enjoyed this issue. I had, I had, I just, you know, like it's not a, a exactly a spoiler because I think it's a few issues towards the end of like one fourteen or one fifteen. Um, so I think it was a couple months back. Um, you, you know, you saw like Batman come in and, uh, kind of replace Nightwing, put on the Nightwing costume while Nightwing like kind of goes off on this, uh, quest to figure out why he, you know, why he's so afraid of heights and why he's afraid of, of taking the leap when he, when he is, uh, confronted with heights. And the answer to that question was really, really well written, honestly, in my opinion. And 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 like I said too, it harkened back to things that happened uh, like four years ago or three years ago in the beginnings of the Tom Taylor Nightwing run. And that that through line for his whole run is really what has impressed me the most with the ending of of this and this final story arc. And so I, I absolutely loved it this week. It well deserved number one. I, you know, even if I got more books this week, I still think that it would have been number one because it was such a quality book. And obviously, you know, we have Bruno Redondo back on art and he's been on for the this whole last story arc. And, and that obviously just elevates the book to another level where you already have this four year long payoff uh uh or three at least three years long of a, a payoff of a storyline and and it's kind of building and crescendoing and and it's written very well and at the same time you've got bruno redondo's amazing art with his you know really kind of like um uh, groundbreaking uh choices of of like panel layouts like he, he, he his panel layouts are some of the most creative that i have seen in in the in comics ever and that's i feel like that's saying a lot i've read a lot of comics over all these years and 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 that's you know his art is is awesome but he's not he, i wouldn't say he's like the best artist in the world he's really top notch with you know on par with lots but what makes him stand above and makes it so, so interesting to kind of read one of his comics where you know read read a comic that has his art is the the panel layouts and the choices that he makes are, are always so interesting and and i feel like kind of well thought out and uh help the story flow and and feel even more like a like a cinematic uh masterpiece or you know what i mean it's not cinema but it it gives it that feel and uh so that that's what i have this week on that um i did get another new book i didn't read it yet the shop handed it to me for free they said it was uh for mature readers check it out i don't know i didn't check it out yet but something i got it looks kind of cool something crawled out <laughs> number one and then I got two uh, two back issues, uh, Transformers 44 from IDW, and this Mad Balls versus Garbage Pails, Time Again, Slime Again number one. I don't know. I I, I had I had collected uh, Garbage Pail Kids as a kid. I remember those sticker cards, and uh, as a child, I, I definitely took off all the stickers and put them on stuff and but it, I, I thought they I always thought those were funny uh, as a kid and uh so what the heck it wasn't wasn't expensive at all <laughs> all right guys that's what i have today uh hopefully you guys all enjoy the show as always if you do like this kind of content you watch this far into the video feel free to like comment and subscribe as always we'll see you guys next time and have a great day